Try 600 with a little zoo running. Yeah. 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 Try 600. Low. 360 dip it back into the aspect of the check-in question and then I'm gonna I'm respond to that because I, I want to end that, that check-in because I was explaining the difference so like yeah. I said before I broke down the extortion method of checking in, right? Right. But because of, because of the world we live in, you got this drill music. You have all this demonic, satanic music that's going on in the industry, bro. That are programmed our kids, even our women. Rap. MC Light was an artist, a lyricist. Queen Latifah was a lyricist. These women were still women and rappers, but respect. Now women are coming in the game, they don't get no respect, bro, because they coming in and flocking as being, you know, what they are. And they, they, they label themselves as bitches. I'm the bad bitch. I'm the this. I'm the that. Right. So it's like, so, so being that we in this type of, type of state of world and people are mimicking things and so they're speaking in, and they're speaking a lot of it in their songs and their music through existence. Right. Why would you not be smart enough to put an umbrella and put a protection and wolf over yourself and you know you travel from city to city or you to diss some motherfucker in, their, in your music that's from this city you to diss them in their music or you decide to go after some gangster rapper because you're a gangster and then y'all diss each other but you figure you don't need to check in or tap in with nobody so bro listen the check in method has always existed I tap in and check in when I get when I come through Houston I'm going to tap in with my folks down there. Everybody in my going to know Big Cap in Houston when I get there. Because I tap in. When I get to Austin, I got family. I'm, I'm there. I'm living in Austin. So when I go to Dallas, I tap in. When I go where, it don't matter what state. I got folks there. I'm going to tap into my folks. A1, it puts a notion on my folks to know, okay, the G homie or the homies here or our folks is here. So if I get in some shit, for me, or I need one of my folks, my niggas know I'm there. Right. You know what I mean? It's called smart thinking, bro. Being smart. But no, niggas want to oh, only no techie. Oh, okay. But your dumb jackass want to go buy all these old fake jewelry. Spend 30, 40,000 of your advanced money on some fake jewelry, but you don't want to protect yourself. All right, keep going ass backwards. A lot of you niggas don't get your head blown off. Still keep getting robbed then. Because you don't want right. to tap in. You know what I mean? So stop yeah. looking at it from. The standpoint of what the internet say or because what the media uh how they prophesize it bro just use your own discretion in your own mind frame of thinking man right. it's common sense why would i not why why would i not want protection on wherever i move and how i'm moving that's common sense so get to uh you know get to the senior man shout out to the senior man mr prince and again people people hear me on the internet a lot of people here can't say call him the old man that's just a nickname of hip hop that he collected. Like just like Suge, AK Suge, AK Simon. Simon, Simon said. That's Suge's nickname. So uh -huh. a lot of us we call we call Jay Prince Sr. the old man. Not because he's an old, old dude, but the old man, because he was one of the pioneers in the game back in the days when the South wasn't really accepted to hip hop just yet. Because it was about East and West. So he knocked down them. Door, he became a pioneer. So he he grew on to have this name where people start calling him the old man because he was older than the cats. So that's where the old man come in. So I want to stipulate that myself because I call him old man. Feel me? He's not an old old dude like that. But anyway, right. shout out to Jay Proof, man. I tip my hat off to him. Nothing but respect to the senior, bro. Again, I have the privilege of knowing personally, you know, through my business partner, uh, slash little bro bun B. The whole two trip movement. So this is how I met him years ago, and I, I, I even worked out of one of his um, his establishment. I shot a video out of the Waffle House down here in Houston, Texas. So yeah, you know uh, he's a great in my eyes, and what I've seen and known from him, he's just a great dude, man, who handles his business and he really built his family. Hey, okay, okay, okay. y'all know what's going on. Could y'all please subscribe to Play Six Hundred? Say man.
Thank y'all. Y'all done got us up to 15K. We striving for the 20, man. We striving for the 20. Please go subscribe. Trey Six on the OG person show numbers. Go get that, man. <laughs>